Welcome back to Night in the Woods. Let's explore the rest of the town, now that it's turning to winter. And you have a very interesting face shape there. Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks that way. I've, uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you don't want to be doing it for too long. But then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. I'm going to put my arms down now. It's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. <laughs> Let's go see if Angus is in here. Oh. I wonder if they're all at the Snack Falcon? Holy crap! Oh, possibilities! It's a taco buck now! Uh, uh, a taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since... We, uh, they got rid of all those snakes in the diner! The owners were religious, and they called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps up in the hills. And he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he died, they just set traps. <laughs> Nobody knows where they came from. Or why they moved in. But they're long gone now. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver. I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. Taco Buck now hiring. Taco artisans, delivery drivers, all shifts, $8 per hour. $8 per hour, that'll sure pay your bills. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan, but I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good. I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck. Dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please dip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of this general region. Pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out all lettuce taco. All lettuce? That sounds horrible. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. <laughs> hmm... Someone's missing for the first time ever. Were they part of the cult, I wonder? Huh. I thought B and Angus would be here. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. 
just seems like relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Uh, not quite yet. Actually, yes, I just went all the way to the left and there's nobody and nothing over there to look at. Let's do band practice. I'm ready for a new song. Please don't let it be as hard as Pumpkinhead Guy. God, this door just does not like to open. But it's worse in the summer. So, did you all get keys to the back door? Uh, Greg got one and we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. I just realized on the back of the wall it says birthday zone. Where is this? Where's Greg? Oh yeah, you had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise, because Angus is an extremely nice person. Do you not think the last or something? I mean, they're high school sweethearts. Once they move and change, and meet new people, and become and become new people. I think Angus is gonna find he's got more options. Angus thinks Greg like saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't, if you think so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets. Who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would be all be pluses. Jeez, you've thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I don't even know. I'm still processing. I'm here, though. Yeah. You? Um, not great. Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. The whole cosmic horror thing? Yeah, that. Yeah, like, I get... I pretty much get the... The cult of, of dads, as it said. A bunch of racist uncles, but... Cosmic horror thing I'm not so sure about. Could you even see or feel it? Nope. But between you and the... Dads... Something had to be going on. It's old. It's very old. You can, like, smell how old. It's like... A porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out. And there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back, way back when, I think it said? Like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes. Yes, it is. A failed state? Getting pretty close. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I guess not. But still, lots of people would be like, destroyed by what you've been through. My mom was extremely tough and smart. When I found out she was going to die, it just didn't occur to me that she was fragile. 
Like, we're all fragile. I don't want to let her down, I guess. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store, and our bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce, I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Socialists. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me! <laughs> yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. We fixed that furnace. I fixed that furnace. Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, May. You sure did. <sighs> I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors. To get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. They're like ghosts in some old mansion, killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything of What? We should, like, do a road trip. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat. And you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi. Or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could. Uh, okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your... issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then. You have a way of making Doom sound a lot like a lot of fun, Mayday. That's actually kind of a gift. God damn this door. I think God already has. There they are. Hey guys. Sup, nerds. How did you get Angus out of, out of work? I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. <laughs> wow. I mean, he did it in real life too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. Just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah. Thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Uh... Uh, probably? What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what, the truth isn't real enough? No, you're right, the truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we just be normal for like one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was down there last night, I like made the decision not to die. Or at least not to die without a fight. And the thing down there told me nothing would save me forever. Wait, it was like talking to you? It's been talking to me for a long time. I just didn't know what it was. But anyway, like, nothing is going to save us forever. But 
that a lot of things can save us today. It's really pretty, May. Like, I wonder... Was May thinking about suicide, I wonder? I feel like they're kind of alluding to that, but I don't think we've ever seen anything or heard anything from May talking about uh, them thinking about suicide. But I can't help but think of it, because May was just talking about how they made the, de the decision not to die. But then again, they're kind of making the decision in the face of some cosmic horror demon thing, so I don't know. Uh, thanks, I totally made it up. Like, right on the spot last night. I said it before, you're good with doom. Doom, doom, doom. So anyway, song and pizza. We earned it by still being alive for another day. That's a decent reason. Decent. 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 Dang, I didn't get to play one more new song. Ah oh well, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, well let's wrap up with some thoughts on Night in the Woods. I am left feeling, I think, really similar to how the characters were feeling. Like, I'm... I don't know how to feel, really. I'm still processing what happened. Just like they are, and just like they don't know if they're safe, I'm wondering the same thing. Like, what... what are they safe now? Did those people, the cultish people, die? Probably. But that doesn't necessarily deal with the horror lurking beneath the earth. Is that still a problem? Is the world still gonna end soon? I don't know. And May. Is May okay? They're definitely better than they were before, no doubt about that. Are they okay though? Are they getting better? Is I don't know. Just thinking back to what May said about how when they're in an unfamiliar place where they're uncomfortable, like when they were at college, everything was just shapes. Like, just things. Like, nothing really had any meaning. Just shapes. I'm just wondering what that is. It sounds so strange to me. But May definitely had mental health issues, and I really like that Night in the Woods is, uh, actually, mental illness is really important to the story. It's kind of one of the central themes, especially with May, but also just really everybody. And it takes all the problems that everyone's going through and it treats them seriously which is really nice. It's nice not to see those sorts of problems dismissed. As someone who also has mental illness, it's really nice not to see them dismissed. And whatever has been happening with May, I still don't understand it, but you know what? Mental illness is messy as hell, so that feels appropriate. I don't think they understand it either. Just thinking about the themes that run through Night in the Woods, probably the biggest one is almost everybody you meet is just trying to... They're basically just trying to dig themselves out of shit and get themselves a better life. Like, everybody, everybody's dealing with pretty serious shit or has been dealing with bad stuff in the past. I mean, May obviously having a lot of trouble just living, just doing things, just staying mentally healthy. Um, you know, the, the parents are working jobs that don't really pay the bills very well, constantly worried about losing the house, so that's gone to hell. And B, B absolutely hates the job of the old pickaxe, but they're trying to reach for something more. Like they said, they're they're taking some online courses and they're doing what they can to try to do something better with their life, but it's hard. And the, the city council people you see all over the place with their inane bickering, <laughs> even they are, they're trying to make the town better, trying to make the town prosperous, trying to bring back business, all these businesses that are closing, moving to big chains. Even the old racist uncles, the, the death cult worshipping the black goat, even they were trying to make the town better. Of course, the way they did it was fucking horrible, and also they're racist, but they're trying to do the same thing. Angus came from a horribly abusive home, but turned into a great person. They came out of shit. 
In fact, <laughs> I think, didn't Greg even say, or maybe it wasn't Greg, but someone said that Angus, like, literally, like, came from shit, like a, a brilliant, wonderful person that just came out of shit. Yeah, and Greg, I mean, they, they've talked about how they absolutely hate working at the Snack Falcon, and hell, they spend a lot of their time just breaking light bulbs <laughs> from the business they have to keep ordering more <laughs> like they don't give a damn about the business it sucks to work there but they have that sort of goofy like ah whatever kind of personality where you know they just they have a lot of fun and they mess around to try to make it better but deep down you know their soul is being crushed working at the fucking snack falcon you know the more i think about the themes and the characters in night in the woods the more i wonder why was there the whole supernatural thing? Because, like, I feel like the storyline of everybody just trying, May coming back, dropping out of college and dealing with their own stuff and their parents dealing with their stuff and all their friends dealing with all this stuff and the journey that they, they go through. I mean, sure, the journey is propelled by the stuff happening with uh, the death cult and the supernatural things, but I don't know. I don't feel like the supernatural stuff even needed to be there. I feel like that just kind of, I don't know, muddies the water, if that's the right term. I don't feel like it really needed to be there all that much. Man, I'm just left feeling very odd about the story. I mean, don't get me wrong, I absolutely loved A Night in the Woods. I just feel so strange. So kind of empty. Not depressed. Not happy. Not sad. Just kind of empty. But uh, anyway, other than the, the themes and kind of what's going on with the characters, uh, some of the other stuff that I really liked in Night in the Woods, well, I mean pretty much everything. <laughs> it's it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a gorgeous game. Um, the sound design is fantastic. The soundtrack is amazing. I love just the soundtrack going around town, but also the songs that you actually get to play in band practice and, and practicing at home. Especially TikTok. That's a damn good song to play. Really fun. <laughs> Who knew the Charity Barity song would be so good? <laughs> yeah, just beautiful soundtrack, beautiful graphics. Uh, the writing is fantastic. It's it's funny and it's witty and it's touching and sad and it's just really great. I love the characters, like every one of them, even May. Like, I mean, May is probably probably my favorite character. Well, easily one of my favorite characters, right? Like, I really like Mei, but at the same time, I, I recognize that they're not really a very good person. I mean, not like, I'm not gonna say they're bad, like, it's not black and white like that, but, like, they're... I mean, they're, they're troubled, and I don't mean that about their mental illness, but I mean just, like, the stuff they do. They do some bad stuff. They have done some bad stuff. Especially beating that kid's face in with a baseball bat a long time ago. I mean, God, that was horrible. But still, just, I mean, the way they're written, they're, they're just fantastically realized characters. I, I really like them all. Like, I'm going to miss them not being with them anymore. All right, so that has been Night in the Woods, a really, really fantastic game. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. <laughs>